one day I'm gonna have to get my life together. But it's not this day. Journal. Because then I'm like, I need more, I need more. And it's like, chill out. What's going on? Actually, I'm gonna go in with the coastal again. <laughs> get it together. What's good, little girl? Mwah. Chef's kiss. Mwah. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today's makeup look is going to be this summer makeup look. I know makeup can be very intimidating, but I kept it super simple. Even when I was like messing up during my eyeshadow, I was like, oh my god, this is not coming out. I should just take the whole thing off. It all works out. I hope you guys enjoy this makeup routine. I did start with skincare, so hopefully if you're into that as well, I did start with how I prime my face for makeup because I think it's very important that you have a good skincare regimen because that's what's really gonna make any makeup, whether it's drugstore or high-end, really stand out. If you wanna see how I got this makeup look and all the trials and tribulations I had to go through, <laughs> please keep on watching. <laughs> Okay, so I washed my face. I've gotten into the habit now of letting it air dry. The towel sometimes can be a little too rough for my delicate skin. <laughs> it has not been acting great lately. I also recently tried a retinol. Oh my god. It burned the shit out of my skin. I'm still recovering, so needless to say I'm returning it. But I wanted to start with a fresh face and kind of show you like my little routine that I use. So I'm gonna start with the lip scrub. I'm gonna use this peach lip scrub by Too Faced. Just a regular old scrubby scrub. I'm just gonna put some of this on my lips. <laughs> I just can't believe, and I literally just used that retinol twice. It was by um, First Aid Beauty. It did say for beginners, so I wasn't like using an advanced retinol, but woof. <laughs> it made things worse. Now I'm gonna use, this is called a lip sleeping mask, but of course I use it during the day as well. <laughs> so it comes with like this little spooly thing kind of scoop it on out. That's a lot. Chill, chill out. And just apply it to the lips. So I always like to use this after I scrub. Mm. Nice and soft. I'm gonna start with also the same brand, Laneige. This is the Fresh Calming Toner by them. So, does it even have a fragrance? No fragrance, it's really mild and gentle. I was using cotton balls, but I feel like a lot of the cotton was getting stuck to my face, so now I'm just going in with these face pads, you know, and plus they cover a lot more of my face. <laughs> I've been breaking out a lot in my chin since that whole retinol incident. So I like to, of course, place the toner all over the face. It's very refreshing and calming, if I do say so myself. But, woof, even after washing my face. I'm gonna go in with this Drunk Elephant B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. Oh, like the top. <laughs> just like that, and you just pump it out. I literally just use two little pumpies. That's all you need for your whole face. I'm gonna get in these fine line and crevices. I'm gonna go in with now with the moisturizer. I got this moisturizer in my boxy looks. This is the It Confidence in a Cream. So 
so look at this big ho bad boy. And of course I've been using it daily, nightly. <laughs> an eye cream as well again from the same brand Laneige they're not sponsoring me <laughs> I just really like their stuff this is called the water bank eye gel but this is what I put in my eyes it's a clear cream that's what it looks like very gel like so when you put on your eyes very cooling which I like I want everything moisturized to the T. And last but not least, I'm going to use, again, the same brand, their face oil. And this is called a dual, dual layer face oil. I do like to shake it. This wasn't sold in stores. I had to buy it online. Just a few little droplets. I'm gonna let that settle a bit. <laughs> Use my fan here and just dry all these products. I'm gonna go in with primer, the No Problem Primer. And that's what it looks like. Obviously, it's had a lot of love because I use it every single day. And we're just gonna do a little dab of that. I'm gonna concentrate that. All right, in the pore area. <laughs> like, at what age do you stop breaking out? <clears throat> so the eyebrows are done. Again, <laughs> don't adjust your TV. They do look that bad. <laughs> so back to the face. I'm going to, oh, I forgot what my beauty blender is. I'm going to use two today. I'm back. <laughs> Got my beauty blenders. So today I'm going to use the Tasha Denona Transfer Matte Pore Vanishing Matte Foundation. This is the color 31W, which is light, medium, warm. Mainly on the bottom areas. I'm going to start on this side actually. that in there. This is really good coverage. I like this foundation. Like I said, a little bit goes a long way. So I like to just dot it in. light enough that you know you go in just a little bit at a time it's really gonna cover your whole face Here, I'm gonna go with this hello fab Fendi avocado concealer this is by first aid beauty their retinol almost burned the skin right off my bones I do love this concealer this is in the color what color doesn't say number four <laughs> I'm in the color number four and this is super super it's got like such a watery consistency you know like some concealers are like super thick like NARS or maybe the Huda this one is so bendy is that what you call it that it's got like a very thin consistency but it's a very good coverage I'm gonna use this Morphe Beauty Blender. And I'm just gonna pound that in. That really makes a difference, right? Look at that. I get a lot of redness there. So I like to bring the concealer all the way down. And it also just creates that lift that you want. eyes lifted and you're awake and you're ready to go so for my eye primer of course it's always the same one painterly pro longwear paint pot by Mac so I'm just gonna take that onto the lids I 
nice and primed. Prime time. So today I'm gonna use the Riviera palette by Anastasia, Beverly Hills. Beautiful colors. <gasps> gouge, just gouge. I'm gonna go in with this color called Cabana. We're gonna throw that right into the creasage. Ooh, that's nice. Showing up on camera. Should I let you guys a little closer? <laughs> I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush like this. This one's called the Mac 217. The Mac 217. And I'm gonna go into this shade here called Coastline. I'm going to throw that all up in there. <laughs> all up in my eyeball. How beautiful is this shade? You know what it looks like? An eraser. Those big rubber... Rubbermaid, what are they called? Yeah. It's going to be eraser vibes. I'm all for it. Just using a fluffy brush. I'm not really trying to pack anything in, I just want it all on the lid because it's so beautiful. I want to keep it cool and summery. I don't want like a structured eye, you know? I want to go in there, put my eyeshadow on, and go. Throw it in, blend it out. I'm going to take this color here called Yacht. I'm just gonna throw in the inner corner. Inner corner. Luxie mini tapered brush. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna throw this yacht <laughs> right into my eyeball. Oh no, it's like bronzy. It's like a penny. A penny right up in here. Gonna blend that in. Just wanna really make this area right here pop. Ooh. I'm gonna go in with the coastline color and I'm just gonna blend that. I'm not picking up any more color, but just blending that out with the with the brush. <laughs> I'm just going to take a little bit of this color here called Sales and run that under my brow a bit. Uh, again, I'm going to use a, fluff, a fluffy brush like this and throw that in there. I want to use another color for my under eyeball area there. So you got this wet and wild one. This one's pretty big. I'm dripped up. I forgot to put powder. So before, <laughs> I'm just noticing, I'm like, why is my <laughs> under eye creasing? I'm going in with the Airspun Loose Face Powder. This is a drugstore product. And this is like a staple. It's got a grandma smell to it, and I am all for it. <sighs> I'm just gonna take a little brush out under my eye. Okay, now we can finish the other eye. I want to do a pop of color. I was thinking of this Bahamas. Oh yeah. So I'm going to run that under my lash line there. Whoa. Actually, I don't think this is a good idea. It's making me look tired. <laughs> and go over the pink. 
kind of diffuse this color a bit because I'm looking a little tired. Um, pink was not the right color. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with some powder <clears throat> to diffuse this situation. It happens sometimes, it happens. I'm gonna make this bitch work. I'm gonna go in with a brown now, <clears throat> palm, trying to save this situation. Oops. <laughs> And we're just gonna go in with like a flat brush like this. I'm gonna put it in my waterline. And then we'll smoke that bitch out. Oh. Some things get crazy for me. I just don't know when to chill. line as well. Balance everything out. And that's me saving my eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in with this low rock Pro Lash Pomade. Pomade? Pomade? Pomade. It's just to coat the Z lashes. Got the weirdest brush. Not weirdest, but look at how curved that thing is. I'm going to the gym trying to get this curve. Hmm. I want to run this through first and then apply Z mascara. Now I'm going to go on with the superhero uh, mascara by it. Now I'm gonna go over that little rock one. I'm really building some volume. Quite the eye opener. Yes. Yes. All done with my six layers of mascara. <laughs> I think it did save the look. Um, the pink was really bright and under my eye I think it made me look like I was tired. It's showing more coral now <laughs> and it definitely saved the look. Let's move back on to the face. I'm gonna take this big old brush from Kiko, Kiko Milano. I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty. That's what it looks like, yummy. Yummy? This is eyelanding. <laughs> I just want to use the bronze off the face. I don't know what's going on with me. I am acting unusual. I love that guy on Instagram. He's like, you are acting unusual. I am flabbergasted. It makes me LOL every time. <laughs> so I'm just using a big old fluffy brush. You know, I'm not trying to contour perfect. I'm just going to press this all over the nose. Mm. I'm going to go in with this Alamar. Alamar? Alamar? Cosmetics palette. I got it in my box charm. Ooh! Beautiful. I'm going to go in with this. Or, yeah. Maybe a mix of them all. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this little brush here. And I'm gonna start with the Padricio. Padricio. I'll do this to the cheeks. I'm gonna use a little bit of that castaway. It's got a sheen to it. It's nice. Now for highlighter, I'm gonna use this Anastasia um, Amarezzi. What? Amarezzi? Amarezzi? <laughs> so that's what it looks like. It's got those cool little grooves, you know? <laughs> so I'm gonna use this as my highlighter to buy. This Luxie tapered highlighting brush. That's what it looks like. 
and we're gonna take some of the Sun Raisy highlighter. We're just gonna go on with circular motions, make sure it's nice and blended. You don't have like that highlighter streak, blush streak. You don't wanna look like Neapolitan ice cream. So blend, blend, blend. Going in circular motions. So it's all cohesive. I like to bring it up on top of the brow bone. Just to blend everything out even though, you know, I do wear a bang. On the top of the nose area and just do a little bit. <laughs> In that little area. Your cupid's bow. Oh! <laughs> and again, I take that same brush that I use for powder. I guess I might go over this area here. No extra product, just blending. Do I look like I'm ready to go on vacation? <laughs> so for today's lip, I wanted to keep it nice and glossy. Since glosses are gonna be a big thing, obviously, for the summer. Glosses for summer, groundbreaking. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this Lily's Motor City Lip Gloss from the MAC Aaliyah collection. I'm going to top that with the Fenty Beauty. This is bilingual. So we're going to go on with this. I'm not going to, this one's a lot thicker. And it's very pigmented, very orange. I'm not going to do a lip line or anything. So I want it glossy. I'm going to go over that with the Fenty, which is more of like a metallic gloss. You see that? How beautiful. So I think the orange, the Aaliyah gloss really gives it the color. And this I think is a perfect topper. And it just gives it that pizzazz. To finish this off with a wow photo focus in rose. So I'm just going to set my makeup with this. Mmm. Rosy. <laughs> okay. I love setting sprays. You just feel, what? You just feel so refreshed. And just really locks everything into place. This is the final look. Very summery, very beachy. Not that I would ever wear makeup to the beach because it would melt right off. I did add some Bellamy extensions just to kind of give it a little bit of an extra zhuzh to the look. So thanks for hanging with me and I will see you guys in my next one.